Hi and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today it's time to celebrate and we are celebrating 1000 subscribers to our YouTube channel. Well I know this isn't an insane amount of YouTube subscribers like some channels have but I'm really thankful and grateful for my thousand YouTube subscribers. It makes me feel like I'm not just that insane crazy person talking to a camera every week, but really having people that like the stuff I put online. So thank you very much. I'm grateful. I hope you keep following our videos and um, well, I'm, I'm just really grateful. Thank you so much. So for today, we're gonna just get our Prosecco opened and celebrate in style. So usually this isn't really my job. I will knock over a lamp or hit someone with the cork or well any kind of clumsy mistake is one I will make. But well what the heck. We only celebrate 1000 subscribers once so here goes nothing. that actually didn't go as I planned. So yeah, that completely went wrong just there, but well, what the heck. We've got our Prosecco and we can only open the bottle once, so let's enjoy it. Uh, if you are curious how I made this makeup, please keep watching because I will explain it step by step in the coming video. Well, I've got the cork over here and it was of course my plan to get it out of the bottle and pretend it hitting my head so I could make a nice wound of it with the cork and the uh, metal still on it. I've got Prozade in here and Prozade on there and I'm just gonna get them on each other again. If I leave it for a bit I think it will hold. Well, the head of this metal part is round, so getting it on my head just like this, I think it wouldn't give me enough support to keep it on there. So I'm gonna get my scalp gel and just put a bit on there and then just stick it on my head, just to keep it where I want it to be. If this is the first video of me you see, or if you've never heard of Sculpt Gel, or if you want to know how to work with Sculpt Gel, please check the link to the video above, uh, which is about how to work with Sculpt Gel. It's an extended video of 10 minutes with me creating something with Sculpt Gel and explaining step by step what to do with it. For now, I have already mixed the Sculpt Gel. I'm just gonna apply it without further explanation. So. If you are thinking, well, Linda, wow, but what the hell are you doing? Check the video. Here is the scalp gel and a spatula, and I'm gonna get the cork on my face. Now, this isn't finished, but I'm gonna get some alcohol to smooth out the edges anyway. So if I don't wanna put on any more thickness on there in a bit, I will at least have clean edges. I'm actually moving it around quite a bit still. I think once it's dried, it will be okay. The sculpt gel is now set and I've added a second layer to give it a bit more volume. And now we need to powder this with the color set powder I have by Meron and a Kabuki brush. I need to get the color back that it has to have. So I'm gonna get my own foundation and just give it my skin tone back and I have misplaced my beauty blender so I'm gonna just use a face painting sponge to do this or I'm gonna try to do this with a face painting sponge at least. Always looks a bit more intense than on your skin. That's okay. We've got a lot of products to get that fixed. Uh, well, that is actually all of the foundation I need. Now I'm going to get the Pro Coloring Bruise by Meron to get the wound colored. And I treated myself to a new one, so it's been used like once and I'm very happy to have all the colors in there again. Another reason for celebration is my Filled With Color Pro Coloring Bruise. I'm going to start off with the light red color as always, 
to get the base down. You can always darken it up, making stuff lighter again is very difficult, so I suggest you always start out using the lightest color you need. Then you can just add the darker one until you're satisfied. Always difficult to work above where you can see. So I'm gonna do this kind of like what I think should be there. At the end of course there will be blood so it will all be just perfectly fine. Blood finishes a look and if you've messed up a little bit it's okay. So um, don't worry about it. The dark red color. course black or not it isn't black actually it's bruise blue purple color I've got a smaller brush and once again my setting powder because we need to powder this again if we want to apply blood or any other product over it it needs to be powdered so be gentle powdering it you just want to set it but you will still move the paint because it's a grease paint, of course. So just get the powder on there gently. And brush it away gently as well. I'm not going to do it with this brush, but with the Kabuki I had earlier. And that is because it's softer, so I won't damage the makeup as much so as you can see it has less color now but that is okay if you add blood you will get away of the uh, rid of the white but I actually want to use my alcohol palette uh, the blood palette to get a little bit more depth in there so here I have my blood palette it's a lovely palette with only blood colors or colors you need for uh, blood and it's uh, lovely if you've got some extra money and you're looking for something you want an alcohol activated palette is absolutely something you want to think about i don't know if you would start with the blood palette i think the sfx or the injury palette would be fine but well i really like this one So making nice, thin, squiggly lines is very difficult to do with grease paint. And that's just because of the product. It hasn't got anything to do with your technique or anything. It's just not made to do this with. You can, however, do this with um, alcohol activated makeup. And that is why I'm adding it I want to give this a look like um, my skin burst open while encountering the cork and there is the coloring of my makeup and now of course we need blood so I've got finial blood by Moldive it's a very nice blood and you could even eat it it smells like peppermint so it's all safe and good to go. Well, um, I think this needs kind of a dripping blood effect, but I don't want it in my eye. So I'm gonna try to get it on there exactly as I want it to, but the cork is in the way, of course. So just get my hair out of the way. I would like to give it a guideline to follow if it falls down. Mm -hmm. 
And that concludes our makeup for today. Of course, I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't one of our 1000 subscribers, don't forget to push the subscribe button. This way we will notify you about new videos we upload to our YouTube channel. And well, I would actually love to have you as a subscriber. For now, I'm gonna celebrate my 1000 subscribers. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.